Welcome everyone to a brand new episode of the Sovereignty of Scotland! So guys, I am back after, well, probably just one day for you guys, but I finally, after last episode, I took an entire break, calmed my head, and now I'm back in the game, ready to do what I need to do to get this done. Because last episode, as you guys know, we had major, major, major fallout where we went to war against the British, got, got our butts handed to us, and had to give up some territory. Not exactly what I would call ideal in terms of what I wanted to do in this series, but hey, it's what we have, so I just have to deal with it. And yeah. But basically, that's kind of giving me some thinking, and I think it's not its not my actual playing skills that are wrong. It's the way I'm playing this country that's wrong. Now, I don't think we're dead yet. I think we still got a couple opportunities that we can go for, but we're going to have to move relatively at a new... We're basically going to have to go in an entirely new direction, because if we continue the way we're doing, we're probably going to bankrupt ourselves again and have terrible times. So, um, first off, let's go kill this army up here, because I really don't want to do a rebels. Actually, why am I even doing that? They're peasants, and they won't honestly do anything, so... Slow down time. Oh, I should probably talk about my new strategy. Basically, guys, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, until I'm powerful enough, I'm just going to start conquering everything outside of England, and then once I feel like I can take on England by myself, then I'll go attack them. Also, I'm going to hope that the... I'm also hoping, since England is allied with both Denmark and the Hansa, what I'm hoping is that Denmark will eventually like declare war on the Hansa, bring England in, break their alliance, and that way I can declare war on England, not bringing in Denmark again, because... I just have a feeling that if we didn't have the stupid Danes involved, we probably would have won. We probably would have won. Alright? But let us continue on with the game. I don't want to sit here and just, like, talk about my strategy. Let's actually do our strategy. We're also going, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the North Sea, start getting our trade going again. Disputed succession is not really anything we can really deal with because we really don't have anything. Improved defenses, I can't really do that because I have no money. And... Speaking of which, I want to see, we only taken out five loans. That ain't too much. We could probably deal with that. And in terms of manpower, we could probably deal with a little bit more. Let's just, I think with our general of Frazier Selick, with our firepower, we might be able to kill these rebels in one go. Hopefully, because this general kind of disappointed me in the last, like, war. So we're going to see if he's actually going to be useful here, if he's going to be a complete, you know, useless person. And empty words! Oh my goodness. The Edict of Tolerance proclaimed by James III a short while back has proven to be nothing more than mere words. There have been several violent incidents and atrocities across religious minority groups since the declaration when James III gets taken out. Oh. Did I, did I... Did I actually do an Edict of Niceness? Did I... I, I don't remember this, but it sounds like something I do. Yeah... No rebels. I will definitely go into bankruptcy for this. Oh, really? Really? You, you you really had to do that. Okay, you know what? Make this much easier on myself. Every single province that we own is going to be harsh treatment. Even if you don't technically have anything wrong with you, you're all going to be harsh treatment. This is going, we're going to martial law right now. I think you're already harsh treatment. <laughs> I think I'm already harsh treatment, you guys. Okay. But yeah, it seems like, so apparently I apparently at some point actually gave religious tolerance to these people. I, I don't know when I did that. It probably is at some point I had my gun, probably the rebels had their gun against my head. And I was like, oh shoot, I can't really do much. So I just kind of let him have it. Because I do not remember doing that. This does not sound like something I would do. I mean, I'm a Victor I'm an EU4 player. I like to wipe out other differences and cultures in my empire. We like to be all uniform over here in our... Good Scottish lands up in the north. Alright? I don't know where they talk about this whole, like, equality thing, okay? We don't have that here. We don't have that. And let's see. Subsidies have ended from France. That means... Hey! Wait! Was I paying subsidies to France? Because my money just went up when that happened. I'll be really mad if that's actually what happened. And my military leader died? Yes, he did. So, I guess our... No, I'm not even going to let our king lead, because he stinks. Oh! The king, the new Holy Roman Emperor, guys, is Saxony! Wow, I have... Saxony just became the Holy Roman Emperor. I don't know how... 
I, I don't know how the Great Austrian Empire lost there. They must have seriously made a lot of people mad. Oh, I see. They must have conquered some of these little guys. That must have made everyone mad. Well, anyways, it's not of our concern because we technically have our own concerns over here up in the north. So hopefully our general will be able to defeat these rebels without dying. Without dying. I just said without dying. Don't you dare. You are a... Okay. You know what? We're not even going to deal with it. We're just going to let them siege up what they want. And we'll deal with the aftermath of just giving them what they want. I mean, it's not like they can take much more from us. Our legitimacy is questioned. And our prestige is in the toilet. So really, there's not much else these rebels can take from us that we don't already have taken from ourselves. So, I'm going to accept your demands. Don't you dare ever come back. In fact, to make sure you guys don't ever come back, there we go. You ain't coming back. Okay, you ain't coming back. Let's put it like that. You ain't coming back. No matter what you do, you're not coming back. And let's see. As apparently we have improvements, the tensions in the Highlanders. Really? Really? Yeah. How much is how much does Denmark hate us right now? Oh, they hate us. They they ain't gonna like us even if we do do twenty the like twenty relations. They just hate us. <laughs> so, what I think we're gonna have to do is actually look towards colonization as a viable option in terms of futurely fighting against, you know, our good brethren of uh the Englanders. Because we really, I, I mean, we honestly have not much more options because we can't we can't fight them on the mainland. Oh, well, what our two options are is we have to either, we have to fight them on the mainland, but we also have to fight them on the sea. I think the French could probably deal with them on the sea now because they're pretty powerful. Speaking of which, hey, France, we're, we're going to roll marriage again because I, I want to make sure that we have that relationship set up. I don't want to have, like, some instance where it's like, oh, yeah, 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 we're not actually uh, related. Okay, let me see. Let me see. Would it be better if I, uh, let's see, it increases at level 9. And level 8, 235. Hmm. I'm trying to think here, people. Would it be better to right now do it? It'd be 435. That means we have a colonial range of about... Nah, it wouldn't... We wouldn't reach it, even if we tried. So, I'm not gonna do that. What I am gonna do is actually just wait until we can upgrade this naturally. And then I'll upgrade it naturally. And that's the way we're gonna do this. And by the way, I'd like to point this out. It's 1519. We still don't have any advisors because of our country's needs, I should say. I'm going to build these two troops and we're going to try to start fighting the northern, like, trade node. Even though I know we're basically being beaten. Oh, wow. We're actually keeping some of our money. Shoot. That's actually kind of cool. We're actually keeping some of our money. Okay. And we need to fight even harder. We need to make sure that our colonial power is, is unheard of. And the Council of Barcelona... Which basically means the faith is now is now maybe going to the counter-reformation, which means if we don't want to become Protestant, we cannot become Protestant. It'd be really nice if we don't become Protestant, but I'm really starting to lean towards that way, especially with our money woes right now. Like, it would be really nice to become a, like, full-on reformed Calvinistic person right now. Like, seriously. I mean, how much would it cost me if I did it? If I did it right now, how much would it cost me? Just became reformed. It would give me, give me 130. The region of Leinster becomes reformed. I could also become Protestant, which gives me still missionary, but we also get tolerance towards heretics. Which the tolerance towards heretics would be really nice, especially since we hate everyone. We don't even like, like it's it's funny. We don't even like ourselves. That's how like divided we are. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Become reformed or not? Become reformed or not. I'm still... You see, I'm still kind of fine with the Catholic Church, though. I'm not... Like, I'm not really... I'm not really fretting over them right now. They're fine. But they do kind of make me mad sometimes. So, it's like... Do I... Do I want to leave? No. But if they make me... Uh, I'll pull the trigger. I'll pull the... Let's just say this. I'm willing to pull the trigger if... If worse comes to worse. But I guess for right now... I'll stay with the Catholic Church. And we can embrace the Counter-Reformation. I really want to do that. Like, I really... Really... Wait. 
Wait, let's just go out here. Hiya. Oh. Give me give me a couple months. Just give me a couple months, dude. Don't 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 give me loans. Wait, wait, wait. Let me like let me just like help myself out here. There we go. Yes. Okay. Alright, now we can get that drill instructor. Woohoo! And now our army is back up to a land morale of Well, if it was at full morale, we'd actually have decent army. But right now it's kinda stinking. But once it gets back to full morale, we actually have a pretty, you know, solid, solid little army there. And we really don't need to be paying our men anytime soon because honestly the only threat we have is England. And they have a truce with us for until uh, 1527. So about seven more years of truce and relaxation. No having to pay our men unless rebels come up, but they shouldn't because I harsh treatment every one of my provinces. A death of a cardinal, that's not good. And yeah, let's see. We can improve relationships. Um, and we do have some loans we have to pay off here soon. I mean, we didn't... Surprisingly, in a loan department, we didn't get too bad. And give me one second, people. I'll be right back. Okay, so I just had to deal with a couple little things with my family. And now I am back in the episode where it is January. And now it's February, the, the year or the month of love. And let's see. Let's repay some of our loans. Have some of that interest go out. And just keep trying to get our economy back in order. Because that's what we need. I think that's the most important thing is that we need to do in the next couple years. Is make sure our economy is in order for that when, when we actually go to the, uh, let's see, 50% colonial range. Oh, I was hoping for a little bit more than 50%. I was hoping it'd be like 100 because then I could go oh, form the British Nation. That's still an idea. It's still an idea in our head, but it's a little bit less of a plausible idea right now. But... I was hoping maybe we'd have a little bit more colonial range, that way we can get there, but seems like we still can't. Still not a dream yet. Still not our dream. Well, let's see. We have our guy, who's just chilling out in the capital. Just kind of chilling, not really doing anything. Just like, yeah, I'm in the capital. We can repay another loan, which is good. We pay it. And let's see, we have five more loans, yes. But I think I'm going to use this money right here for a little bit different purpose. I'm going to use it to build a bark. That way we have some bugs like in our country. Because I'm thinking I'm thinking we're gonna have to increase our trade in the northern trade node for us to start being flourishing in our like trade. So we're gonna start doing that. We also still got alliance with, with uh, Austria, right? Yes, alliance with Scotland and alliance with Scotland and Fra and Castile has eaten up Aragon. They completely personal union them and eaten them up. <gasps> Wait, our ancestors are watching. Recently, people have begun to doubt the legitimacy of our reign. We need to remind them of our right to rule. Glory to our ancestors. Build the great biggest monument possible. Okay, give me one month. Okay. And then the rest of these are probably just ascending order. Yeah. Okay, let's do this. Yay! We have semi-legitimacy. And we finally got to level 10, and now we could go to new ideas. What should our new ideas be? Well, if it's... Hmm. Let's see, what do our ideas really complement? Hmm. Aggressive expansion, land impact. Let's see, what do we really... I don't think we're really ahead in anything right now. Well, administration, but I know they can really catch up really quick. So... You know, I'm going to leave that a little bit open because I don't know quite what I want. Because we still haven't even finished up most of our ideas yet and we're, and we're in 1522. I mean, we'll catch up, don't worry. It's just going to take us a little bit. And let's see, we're going to have this guy go over here, join his, uh, his uh, little ship buddies over here. Wait, no! No! Go back. No! Okay, go down a little bit. We're going to meet him up in probably St. George Channel. Oh, never mind. Just stay right there for a second. There we go. Okay, there we go. And now they're gonna be good. Okay. And let's see, are we starting to win our own node back? Or are we still... 37, 39, alright. We just need a little bit more and we won our node. Which is good. Because we're making much more money now. And I'll pay back a loan. Or I'll pay back this loan because this is the most expensive. And fortifications neglected. 
Uh, let it fall. Uh, you know, we can actually lose some army tradition because we actually have a pretty... Oh, well, we did have a decent amount. <laughs> um, it kind of depleted over the years. I will not deny it. it was not at this level when I was in charge a couple years ago. And now we can start repaying it. We pay back the loan, extend the loan. And let's see. Let's build another ship. Because that's our, that's our goal. We pay a loan and build a ship. We pay a loan and build a ship. We pay a loan, then we build the ship. That's how we're doing this thing. Let's see. Can we convert these Protestants yet? No. They have complete another religious zeal, and I don't think it goes away for like another hundred years. <sighs> okay. We're going to have to deal with that. Let's see. Has England done anything? No, they're still definitely Catholic. Henry, the Lannisters haven't like... Well, the land, not the Lancers, the Lancasters have not, like, revoked their claims yet. Or have not become, like, fully Protestant. I don't think they will, because we... Because I think it's because of us that they don't get to become Protestant. France is right now dealing with a hard time with all these, like, Reformed and, like, Protestant in their lands. I mean, that's half their country already converted. That's kind of scary. That's really scary. And right now we could do an idea group. We could do some leadership. I don't think we're actually ahead. Yeah, we're not ahead in the military, so we can't do that. But we can still get that free slot. Let's see. Natural revolt risk. Ooh. Now that's just a little bit too tempting. Get that natural revolt risk. That way we have less people angry at us. And that means we have less of a chance of them trying to make us and trying to kill us. And let's see. We have a couple good amount of money. We pay back two of our loans. And let's see. That means we only have two more loans, guys. And that means before we, before the British are even ready, we already have two loans paid off. We got another one of our ships ready. I'm going to go intercept them. I think I know the pattern of their ship route. They're going to come up back here. Wait for it. Yeah, no, that, okay, are they coming back over here? Yes, okay, this is when they come over here. And, wait, 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 don't, don't you dare leave. There we go, combine, yay! I did an interception one, and we're gonna build another ship over here, and there we go, people. We're starting to bring in, oh man, we're bringing in eight ducats. That's a good amount of money right there. We're starting to bring in the dough, and let's see. We're gonna get another ship right here. That means we can get another good amount of money in, and I think we're now starting, oh, sales of titles. My lord, one of your advisors have suggested selling off titles of nobility to anyone who wants to afford to pay. It could bring in lots of money if we do, but it would also devalue the idea of nobility and perhaps upset the existing aristocratic families. Should we do this? Gold is the sign of nobility. Nothing can be bought. Well, I have, I have stability three, so. Gold is the sign of nobility. Yeah, and with that, I think we'll be able to pay back. Oh, we can't pay back all of our loans. What? What is this madness? All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Next month. Next month, everyone. We can pay back all of our loans. <gasps> okay, everyone, here it is, the final loan, yes, and now we are officially back into being loanless, which means I can actually start increasing our, like, military to being a little bit less pathetic, and recruiting, getting them all, like, spruced up again, maybe getting some new shoes, new, like, stuff that they can handle, you know, stuff like that, I want to do something nice for our military, and let's see, and, again, as I usually say, base tax is usually better. <laughs> Unless it is tax income being brought in by local autonomy. But, you know, once I actually get those provinces working again, I think we'll be fine. Let's see. Declaration of Indulgence Act. We'll do that. Uh, military. The Concessive Acts. I'll do that. Can we start converting any of this? No. Religious zeal is really hurting us right now. Let's see. So... Yeah, it's really hurting us. But we can't, like I said, we can't endorse the uh, Counter-Reformation, because if we endorse the Counter-Reformation, then, like, we're already behind in technology. We would be even more behind if we do that, and I really don't want to do that. So let's not do that. <laughs> the short answer is, let's not do that. And let us see. Can we quite reach it yet? Maybe? No? Maybe? No. Still can't reach it. Really sad, really sad, because if we can start the colonization, we can probably start raising up better armies, start getting ourselves in better moods, and let's see, how many men do I have? I have 14, so that means these guys are almost completely refunded. 
Yes! Alright, now they're completely ready. I'm going to build one more bark, and then we'll go send them out to go help our big bark army. And, in terms of Great British, Britain, I don't think they've been at war with anyone in the time... Yeah, in the time that we've been at peace, they haven't been at war with anyone. So that means they're definitely gearing towards a war against us, which is going to scare me. And somehow Lorraine is invading Castile, which is kind of making me feel weird. Because that usually never happens. Now let's see, who's the next Austrian Emperor? It's still going... Denmark? Wait, is that Denmark? No, that's Trier. Oh, and so Trier's trying to steal the, the Imperial Authority too. Oh, wow, this is a very weird, like, Holy Roman Emperor, but... I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys are staying for the next episode. Because we're going to get this all going. And I'm going to try to stop talking like this. Because I realize I went a little bit too relaxed speech. So hopefully next episode I'll get back to normal. And thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.